Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Light Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I am here with a channeled messages reading from your person for all of my Virgos who are watching. So if you have Virgo as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Virgo, your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart, Virgo, is your person. That's your person, and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and officially begin and get started, please keep in mind that this is and will be a journal reading for your sign here. So it may not resonate for you, Virgo, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. Also, Virgo, if you are interested in viewing your extended reading, which will consist of tarot cards and also oracle cards, Virgo, and what is yet to come based off of the energy of this reading, feel free to check out the paid Patreon membership. And with a membership, Virgo, you will have access to all extended readings, not just for your sign, but for any other sign per month. But without further ado, Virgo, let's see what we have for you when it comes to the topic of love here. Let's see who this person is towards Virgo. We have another message. How does this person truly feel and how are they treating Virgo at this time? Okay, Virgo. So, so far we have some messages. We'll have more yet to come. Let's get into it. So very first card to come out is, I'm sorry, I can't solve your insecurities. This was hard to believe because you're out of my league. We also have, I was afraid to fall in love with you due to the parts of myself I hide. Next, I'm not moving until I'm 100% ready. We also have, you're everything I want in a person, why would I leave? We also have divine timing and I never had such strong feelings like this before. Okay, Virgo, so I do feel like this is someone you're currently dating or getting to know. You two might already be committed and devoted to one another, but I feel like there's something about their energy that it's like, why do you have to mess up a good moment? It's like you two could have a great day together and then towards the end of the day, they say something or they do something or they project their feelings and emotions onto you, perhaps trying to get away with a snarky like comment. And it's like, why would you even say that or do that here? This person could be insecure. I do say that because we have, I'm sorry, I can't solve your insecurities. This is reminding me of you, Virgo, believing that. And by believing, it's like you're not doing anything to dent this person's trust with you but they bring up something that's irrelevant or it's like i know you did this or just someone who is insecure someone that should have trust in you because you haven't done anything to go against them but in order to trust you have to trust and it it can be become toxic or just tiring if this person is always needing reassurance when Part of that reassurance comes from their own confidence within themselves and within this connection. So I'm sorry I can't solve your insecurities. I do feel like this is your energy, Virgo, in a way acknowledging that you're going to have to step up or mature for yourself on that part. That's not for me to reassure you time and time again about. We yeah, have this was hard to believe because you're out of my league. I feel like this is this person's energy. If you do resonate with this person being insecure, perhaps they felt like, or they feel like you're too good for them. Could be an attraction thing. This person may have been the one chasing you, Virgo, or the one pursuing you, initiating things with you. 
And now that they have access to your energy, they want to stay on top of it. So, yeah, someone who perhaps isn't confident within themselves or even when, say you could be understanding to that Virgo, but you will try your best to reassure your, this person within your capacity or capability to. It doesn't help when you project your energy onto me. I understand you feel like this and I'm willing to help as best as I can, but don't act like I'm the one causing the issue here. We have, I was afraid to fall in love with you due to the parts of myself I hide. Perhaps this person, I, I feel like there's also that energy of, it's like, besides the insecurities or the energy that they project, you might not see a lot of their sensitive side. Someone who tries to keep or be cool, calm, and collective, but I feel like certain things about this person, it makes you or you feel as though not everything is okay, their body language, Virgo. And it's like, why are you holding off access when we can't just beat around the bush here? Like, in order to really reach depth and to get somewhere monumental with one another, we're going to have to work through this and not just put it off guard or pretend like it's something minor because this can erupt into something something bigger here we do have i've never had such strong feelings like this before it could be a shared energy and say you feel this way towards this person virgo i feel like you wouldn't do anything to compromise this connection or break this person's trust you're making time for the people and things that you love and like here and another thing is, I feel like this person feels your presence. They know that they can get a hold of you. I feel like you haven't, it's not your fault, Virgo, if you get attention from others, and and this is only if it resonates, but say you get attention from others, but you do respect your partner, and you deny, like, not wanting this person to get jealous or insecure because you're not giving them a reason to. We have your everything I want in a person. Why would I leave? I feel like this is your energy here, Virgo. You have my time. You have my love. You have, like, I gave you so much of me. And it, it, it could be so frustrating when you're letting a person know that I'm here for you. I'm not about to do anything against you. But you constantly have to plead yourself. You constantly have to reassure them. So I feel like that's the energy, overall energy, and it makes you think about the, the bigger picture here, Virgo. I'm not moving until I'm 100% ready. If you're going to act insecure, then I don't know if I could do this. I don't know if I could. And I know I'm basing it off of like your, your attraction, Virgo, or your, your attractiveness, but if this resonates, feel free. Of course, you know better than I do. So feel free to replace the energies as needed. And in your um, extended reading, Virgo, we will have more prominent and significant energies with the other cards that we use. So I feel like you're not taking that huge leap of faith. It's like they, they don't trust you, but now you don't trust them, Virgo, because this tension or just trying to like, Walk on your tiptoes not to disturb this person. It's not worth it. And divine timing. So with divine timing, I feel like you're not making any sudden decisions or movements here. I, I feel like with I've never had such strong feelings like this before. You're still in tune or you're still connected to this person. But if this is not something that's meant for you, I feel like you, you, you're waiting to see it out. If that makes sense, Virgo. But we're going to go ahead and pull from this deck. We'll probably get a few more extra messages. So let's just see what we have for Virgo here. When it comes to this energy. Okay, Virgo. Let's go ahead and take from the top here. This deck um, is a bit more. It's thicker. So it doesn't shuffle as easily. But we'll... We'll just see what, what happens, Virgo. What else do we need to know here? 
for my Virgos. We have two messages there. Another message. A couple more messages for Virgo on the energy of this person and the energy of this connection here. One more pull for Virgo. All right, Virgo. So let's get into what we have. Okay, first we have perfect pair. So I feel like you do recognize the qualities that you two share with one another. And this adds to your reasons for falling for this person or being with this person here. So I feel like you try to uphold this connection as best you can, but there are some things that don't just fall on you. Love at first sight, I can believe in it now. Say this was this person's energy. It could be your energy as well, but basically Virgo, I feel like the attraction was there from the beginning and things may have picked up quicker in the beginning as far as getting to know one another. So there could have been things that you didn't notice about this person or that that flattery like or the compliments, the flattery that this person was showing you uh, that may have just been something that was appealing, Virgo. But as far as noticing any red red flags you didn't think about it in that way you'll always be in my heart i feel like this is something you don't want to let go but if it crosses the line or your boundaries there could be some more reconsidering here we have wow a black diamond very rare virgo and this person knows that so it's like they could be obsessing in a way where it's like i'll Obsession can link to insecurity because it's like the fear of running out sometimes. We have sitting pretty, your energy, Virgo. I feel like you turn heads and this person knows that. You have nothing to worry about, your energy, Virgo. It's like you're trying to reassure them as best as you can here. And there's a lot to me. So don't, and I, unfortunately, it could be the feeling like, you're sitting pretty, you're attractive, Virgo. This person doesn't, they underestimate like your morals, your values, what means things, like what means a lot to you, Virgo. And the fact that you're allowing them in your life, you wouldn't be doing that for no reason here. But once again, Virgo, we will have that extended reading within the Patreon membership if you are interested in the tarot reading of what is yet to come here. So let's see what signs might be relevant. We first have Gemini for Virgo. Taurus, Gemini, Taurus, last but not least here is Aries. So March, April, May may have been significant. Uh, even June, Virgo. But that is all for today. As always, I do appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you all next time or in the extended reading. Bye.